Man, is this thing short. I cannot believe how short it is. I mean, even looking at it like... What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be installing a short throw shifter in my 2009 Corolla. I ordered this from Monkey Wrench Racing. So, I paid about $100 for it after shipping. This should be a pretty straightforward install. I mean, you gotta take apart the center console and everything like that, so. But, yeah, today I'm gonna be installing this. Uh, should make the shifts a lot smoother. Um, so let's get started. All right, so here's what comes in the box. Just a short throw shifter, some hardware, some spacers, washers and some C-clips or whatever. Got a sticker, and that's about it. And then I also ordered, I don't know if I'm gonna be putting these in today or not, we'll see how much time I got. These are some shifter cable bushings, they're brass. Uh, everybody says that these make such a big difference when shifting on this car. So I'll see if I got enough time to take them out and put them in, depending on how hard it is. And also, before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, because I see a lot of people who view my videos. I think like four or five percent of people are subscribed and 95% are not subscribed. Please subscribe to the channel and let's see how fast we can hit a thousand subscribers. So let's get started. I mean, 10 millimeter, 12 millimeter. All right, so the first thing we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to take out this whole center console over here and I'm pretty sure a 10 millimeter and a 12 millimeter will get everything out. Um, so I have to unscrew the shift knob. And so the plastic trim just popping out. Oh, we're gonna need a Phillips screw. And there'll be two screws, one on each side. And this should pop off. There'll be a 12 volt connector right on the back. Just squeeze that. We're out. So the whole goal is we've got to get this whole shifter assembly out of here. So which you can see the 12 millimeter bolts down there. And then there's two more 10 millimeter bolts down in here. All right, so we'll get these 10 millimeter bolts out of the center console. You know, I've had this car for over a year and I never knew I had a 12 volt outlet inside of here. All right, we got the two 10 millimeter bolts out of the center console. This really isn't held in by anything really. Uh, I think there's actually two panels underneath right here that will pop off. I don't know if these need to come off, but they're like connected to it, I think. So you can really just pull on them and they'll literally come right off. And now, oh, there's two more Phillips screws here. They all look like the same length. So you don't need to worry about mixing them up. Mm -hmm. Now this thing literally, yep. Yeah. Got to slide it over here, e-brake. There's also a connector. <coughs> Alright, so after I got the whole center console, I just put it in the back seat. I mean, it was a little awkward getting it out. I didn't know which way to put the e-brake. So, but after I got that out, now we gotta get this out, which I believe is the 12 millimeter. Some 12 millimeter here. And I was already looking at this last week. Um, there's a couple harnesses that are just pushed into here. You're gonna have to pull them out. There's one here, one here, and the one there. All right, now this whole assembly is loose. Oh. Now we gotta take out these shifter linkage cables, which 
Um, they're very weirdly put in here. I mean, I don't quite understand. Like, they like twist. When you twist them, they're like spring loaded almost, and you gotta twist them like a whole turn or so. And oh, well, also, there's these retaining clips that'll come off. Um, but then after you do that, then this, these two right here gotta spin counterclockwise. And like, you gotta like press and hold. Then when do you get a certain point, you can pop them loose. Same with the other side. I don't know if it would have been easier to get rid of the these first or not. Um, there's also, I'm kind of all over the place. There's these like, I don't want to call them C-clips, but some type of clip that goes around. And it'll come right off. Don't lose these because we got to reuse them. And then they'll come right off the shifter. Now we gotta do the same thing for the other side. Okay, and then there's this other weird clip that just gotta pull out. Okay, that's just kind of like a cotter pin, slides into a hole. Just gotta pull that out. And now the whole shifter linkage is free. Now it's gonna be a lot easier to work on rather than working on it in the car. So now we gotta take the whole arm out of here and replace it okay so now that we got this out of the car now it's time to get this out which i'm pretty sure when i've looked it up we have to take this retainer clip out because i'm pretty sure that's what one of these is to replace it so we're going to pry this out of here i don't know Alright you guys, as you saw I got the retainer clip off finally. Took a little bit to get off. I mean, I don't know, I used an assorted but the best thing that seemed to help was like a chisel. Something that had like an, a sharp edge but then came out with a wedge. I tried like a painter thing, tried pliers, tried screwdriver. But it really helped to start with a chisel. I kind of ruined the plastic a little bit, but won't really see it that much. So now we gotta get this out of here. Alright, so I got that pin out. Now I see that there's a spring on here that just kind of pay attention. It's wrapped around each one of those. So just go pry it off a little bit. Okay, it's a little greasy. All right, now all I got left is to get the shifter out. Looks like this just needs to be popped open. I don't know if this is a tool that they want you to use to help get this out, but there's two clips here. They need to be pressed down and then this should pop open. Okay, well, there it goes. So I don't know, I don't know if that's what the purpose of this tool is, but that worked. So I'll take this out. And now we gotta take this retainer clip off and then get this off. And then we'll clean this up and then hopefully I got some, yeah, I got some lithium grease up there. Then we also gotta take these bushings out. So set this aside.
Alright, so here's the monkey wrench racing one, and here is the OEM one. You can see they're literally about uh, two inches shorter, so I'm very excited about that. Now, we're gonna go get the housing. We got some white lithium grease. Hopefully, this would be good enough for what it is. I don't know what kind of grease you should use, but I think white lithium grease will be fine. Now we're going to put it on pretty much the same spots where it was before. Alright you guys, so I put the whole shifter assembly together outside the car, greased it all up, and put this clip on. I'm not exactly sure what, which one, which one you're supposed to do, but I put one of the C clips on, they snapped on, and then I tried to press this on there, but I ended up like cracking it in half when I was pressing it on there, but it seems to be holding pretty good. I mean, you can move the shifter and everything seems fine. So now we're going to put it back in. The shifter came with replacement bolts because it's, they're longer. So these are the old ones. Those are new ones, so they're like a quarter inch, three inch, three eighths longer. So we'll set these down. Then All right, so I got it all installed. I don't know, my my GoPro ended up dying like halfway through or whatever. So I ended up recording some time lapse and everything with my phone. So hopefully I got some good footage of putting it back together, but man, is this thing short. I cannot believe how short it is. I mean, even looking at it, like my, my shift boot sinks in because it's so short. There's not enough room for it to extend. So I'm gonna go out for a test drive, get my reaction. Um, I'm already impressed at how short this is. It seems like, it almost feels like I might miss a couple gears and like trying to get used to it. So let me hook you up on the dash. All right, so let's go for a test drive, see how this is. Oh my God, this thing feels so short. But it does feel a lot notchier, a lot firmer. Um, which feels nice. I just can't wait to change out those bushings. Let's pull it on this road and see. I think it's worth a hundred dollars easily. But the throws are so much shorter that it almost feels like I almost miss neutral. It's just so short. Let's try one more pull. you guys when I get home. Alright well guys that's gonna be the end of the video um, and then guys stay tuned for the bushings. I mean I feel like these are gonna be a nice install and make the shifter feel way smoother like right now because it feels notchy but it feels like it feels good 
but it just does not feel smooth. So hopefully switching out these and lubing everything up on the linkage will make it everything better. So just stay tuned for that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please subscribe, like the video, share it, do whatever you guys want to do. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.